Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sunesha and this is KSP 1.2. So we had a, a couple of hide and seek games, I think the Goebbels loves, loves those children's game and Bill was winning because he was hiding there and it was actually quite smart by Valentina and Shalene because if you check around here we actually see it's totally flat so where could he be hiding? <laughs> oh yeah. Why do you find that funny? I don't know. Uh, so what, if, what I want to do here before we leave uh, Minimus is actually to collect the surface, uh, surface sample and an EVA report around here. And I think this is the closest, uh, po uh, closest point to a new biome. We have a hill here. So we will get packed here. It's, I'm not sure how long it will be actually. Maybe if we use the ship. Uh, let's let's get Valentina into the ship. We want to go in there and leave her current. Um... Oh yeah, it's so hard to fly in this game. Let's see, spin, spin. Cool. So, where is the hatch? That is the question. Let's get closer. So. I think I will land here. Maybe I should just use build because he is on top of the. Yeah, there is almost no gravity here at all. So uh, let's see. There is the hatch. So yeah, I've left it free from things to. Whoa. It's really hard to navigate with this. Uh, or I haven't got, got used to it yet. So. Okay, cool. So she 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 got the. Uh, now we can go inside. Board was maybe we can use our rocket. Uh, let's switch switch over. Let's switch over to the craft. Let's build Shalene lander. We want to to be in the landers because then we can you maybe see one. Okay, cool. No, they didn't help us. So, yep. <laughs> Let's get out again. Uh, EVA. Hey, Valentina. Where do we want to go? We was looking for that hill. So, over there, I have no clo clue how far it is. But we have to be careful when we go down, uh, fly there, so we don't kill Valentina. Cool. So... Line up our itself here, and then I will fast forward here. Okay, cool. So let's activate our rocket bags and start flying. We will fly not too fast, so we don't kill the Valentina here. So let's see how far it has land here. <laughs> uh, okay, it was not the most graceful uh, landing I've seen. Okay. Are we done? So. We can zoom in even more than this, so the map will not be too much help. I think it's actually very far. Let's see. Or I will only take a sample from the hill if there is, there is a different kind of biome. We are at the less of flats now, so... I think I need to break before I land, otherwise uh, she, she can't... Uh, 10 meters per second is like 30 kilometers per hour or 20 miles per hour, so it's a quite high speed to land at. So I can break by going backwards. Yes, we got a, a different biome, so let's try to land gracefully now, I'm breaking our speed. Look, this was a good exercise for me. And 
we, it was two kilometers here, but now we can get an EVA report for the science and and 150 silence is for a lowland uh, biome. So that was a uh, worth it. So let's go home. So I'm trying to stay under t 10 meters bar, or otherwise I think it's a bit too dangerous for Valentina here to navigate here. I'm not sure w w which uh, how much speed she can take. So. Uh, So by breaking, uh, go if you go backwards and uh, break and uh, go up at the same time, I can control the speed here a bit better. <laughs> oh man, there are so... I, I want to see our facial expressions when we crash, but so... Uh, let's see. So the hatch is on the other side of the ship, so let's get a bit closer so we see. Have to be careful that we don't hit the solar panels, I think those are flimsy. Oh, she, okay, cool, she's standing there. Let's activate our pack again. Okay, cool. So we got her in. So let, uh, let's get Bill. Wrong button. So where is the hatch? Yeah, there is. I haven't put anything at the hatch just to make it easier. Uh, oh, I almost had it there. Cool. Yeah, that travel actually helped me out. I mean, I, my EVA skills here. So let's Charlene, she's the only one left. So let's activate our rocket pack. Go. Oh. oh. That's why you don't want to hit the solar panels. Okay. <laughs> Charlene. It was your fault. We shouldn't, uh, oh, so let's see here, about here. Go up, zoom in. That's it, nah. Oh. So we lost a, a solar panel, but, uh, I'm not too worried about it anyway, so, uh, Let's go home. Uh, I think we are done here. And I think one solar panel will be more than enough. So let's see. So I haven't missed any contracts here. Uh, so landed on VSC. Yeah, we, we only need to go home. So let's concentrate on that. So let's see. Um, we want to go east. Uh, or I like to go east. It's probably not the, the correct one. So let's put on SIS. Uh, let's go out map mode. So this line means that I have a communication with uh, Kirby, and I want I will in future episode very soon start putting up some relay. I haven't done any satellites yet, but I think it's time so we can start uh, using some more uh, unmanned uh, things, so unmanned uh, probes and stuff. So yeah. So, 90 degrees is that way, so if I'm not sure which way we are headed, it doesn't really matter, so let's go. Okay, and we will tilt ourselves this way. And stay. We don't need those any longer. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I forgot to put a flag on Minimus. Do I have a do I, I don't want to land without landing gear here, so. So. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so let's speed up. Tilt ourselves. I just don't really want to hit the mountain here, so... Okay, so that isn't enough for us to make a maneuver node, so let's go for that. Uh, yeah, this is probably... It would be a fairly easy one. We only need prograde to get around. So let's get that a bit higher. Let's put it there. And now we don't need as much. Okay, that was my things exploding there, so... Uh, radial. We don't need radial. I hope ten thousand meters is enough to avoid uh, avoid hitting the. Mountains around here, I think so. So let's speed our uh, speed our speed us up here t until I get uh, close to our node. I will probably speed down at uh, thirty seconds. That's that's a good target. So speed up. So and there we have our node. So if we burn for. Yeah, I can execute it from here. I don't need to see it because the only thing we want to do is make an orbit. So we will see uh, when we hit the orbit here. So or I can uh, yeah, let's wait. Oh wait, we are <laughs> inside it. So. Oh. Yeah, let's just get the, get that around 11,000 and then we save some Delta V. It irritates me that... Uh, let's just see so we don't hit the planet. I don't think something is sticking out too much from here, so we should be safe. So let's delete our thing here and then we will start if we zoom out, we can see our orbit here, around here, so let's see... Ladies and gentlemen, I messed up here, so I need to do a new maneuver node so we can get transferred to Kirby, and so... As we have is the thing I messed up is our inclination is east at the air, but you can see it looks uh, all the way up, so... I think... I'm thinking... Let's see if we... Our orbit here. So let's add probe grade, a lot more probe grade, and then a bit. No. So let's go back. That was a little bit too much. Yeah, this looks a lot better. So yeah, I need to stabilize our orbit for first here, so we can get a good encounter uh, with. Curve in here. So I think I need to do, you want uh, that one, the escape push in that direction. That is usually the easiest way to get a good thing here. So yeah. I think. Yeah, I had to think about that a bit. I wonder why I never hit Curve in here, but it's probably here. So I'm pushing it here and I can go more mine or I can go. So let's go. Anti normal. Okay, let's go back to around here and then we'll adjust it. So, yeah, I had to go in this squared uh, angle because I, my inclination around uh, Minimus was not working, so I didn't figure it out. So, it took me a couple of times to figure it out why it was not. Usually, you can hit it quite easily. So, in 30 minutes, we need to burn for 31 seconds. So, and I don't like this situation. I like, like to have my PR office over here and my app over here because my speed is a bit slower there, but couldn't make more than a couple Delta V. 
we didn't want to do that. We want to... Okay, let's zoom out because my dialogue was... Uh, let's go up here. We don't need a lot of speed to uh, get, uh, escape uh, Minimus because the gravity is probably lowest so far. It's even lower than the moon, so it shouldn't uh, be a problem. Okay, cool. So let's line up to our target. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we are lined up now, so let's go here. So we need to burn at 15 seconds. Just last line us up with the target there perfectly. Can. Okay, so let's wait wait until we need to burn. Don't think So soon, soon, soon. Yeah, so it took me a little bit of thing here. I was I had to use normal to correct my course. I think it's because my inclination. Yes, as I said before, I'm repeating myself. Oh. So yeah, oh, I almost forgot to burn there. So let's see if you, if you get the escape here. We will get the escape. That is guaranteed, but... Okay. So... Burn, burn, burn. Okay, let's delete here and do the last part here. We remember that we needed to go in this direction, so it's just keeping uh, stabilized and go in the same direction. We should be safe here. I want to set us up 42 uh, in the atmosphere, 42 uh, kilometers up. That's 24,000 meters, uh, 42,000 meters. So, I'm thinking I want to be I only have one engine now, so let's set it to super slow because it will cost almost nothing to correct it from here. Yeah, we are even not using one delta V per second here, so I can be very exact. I think 45 Two, I try to remember a good approach to get a good air break. Okay, that's good enough. Go retrograde. I want to be. Let's put it at 43. Okay, that's good enough for me. So now we have lined everything up. So let's just get our canyons back to maximum here. So let's. Get, let's get that escape first, and then we we'll need to get a new color when we are in Kerbin Spears of Influence, as it's called in the game. Uh, yes. We are not. We are going very slowly, so it will be a long trip home. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm not thinking. I, I take that back. I had no idea. I had an idea for something to do something, but I already forgot what I was thinking. So here we are, have our escape, and then I think it will we'll come in an interesting angle here. And it is not okay. So we are at this one now. So let's zoom out. You see, uh, we are coming above the curb in there on the North Pole. So, let's see. Where are you? We should be able to see Kerbin. Maybe it's behind us. And yeah, we are traveling in retrograde, so... There it is. We have Kerbin. Awesome. And so... Let's get out on the map. See our power up is still... Yeah, it's exactly the same. 
I, I was just watching a, another YouTuber and he told me that if you, t or he told in video if you time warp between escapes and so on, it can get changed. But I'm quite sure that was the number we had. So maybe that he, yeah, he probably played on a very older version. So yeah, I don't guess there is. A okay, now Kirby looks uh, like my graphic mod uh, make it. <laughs> it just. If you wonder what uh, that green thing is, it's actually Northern Light. Uh, I want, as living in Sweden, in the northern part of Sweden, we actually have Northern Light. I went up with a train uh, one time to, when I was having some time off to actually see it. And it it's, it's like you have taken drugs <laughs> because it's so beautiful, because it's also unreal. So uh, let's go here. Let's get closer to our Kerbin, Kerbin, Kerbin. Still, uh, so yeah, that should represent Northern Light. Yeah, so that is a cool phenomena. That happens for reals. Aurora, I think, is the Latin name for it. Okay, so we have a, a, a small bit of Delta V to use to break us, so uh, thinking, let's see how, how close we are. Uh, one thing I would love to have, I wanted to see what the altitude was when it was time warping. And there is no way, so let's get closer. This shouldn't be, uh, this shouldn't be is, is nothing weird, so so let's just retract our solar panel and uh, get so do, so it gets uh, get destroyed. So let's get ready for this. And if I time warp now, it will uh, stop as soon as I'm in the atmosphere. So so we yes we are in the atmosphere here. So. Let's zoom out a bit. It looks like we are over the ocean. I have contract to make some, uh, some, uh, do some science at the ocean. So hopefully we we'll land in the ocean. That will give me uh, finish that contract. Okay, so let's get rid of our engine as soon as we have used all of it. Okay, let's not wait until it explodes. I think it's overheating. That's probably what's happening here. Yeah, it's overheating. We can see it overheating in there. But we will soon be done with it. The only thing is that when you get rid of this, they get stuck sometimes. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's why I spin a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, so our engine is thrown out of space. Yeah, it got so much energy uh, there, so cool. So now we all all we have to do is uh, wait until we land. This time I don't think it will be such a dra dramatic uh, landing as we have no mountains in front of us if we check in that way. Something is overheating, but I'm not sure what could be overheating. I think this was a good angle. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it's burning up, but that is what it's supposed to do, so that's good. It looks like I will go out again, because I just passed my lowest point. I, I passed my priorities, so we will go around again. So if we. The one thing uh, the effect has, uh, as you can see there, that it, it will, will just slow us down more here, so it's on, on 500,000 and uh, dropping. So, yes, we look at here, we're going out, so I just want to show you guys that this happens. Not, this is uh, not pr uh, always a bad thing, because when we come back the next uh, time, uh, we will uh, we have uh, shaved off a lot of speed because of that and our highest point 
uh, has become lower there, so... <laughs> only thing is we land on those stupid mountains again. So our pariap para is is uh, now uh, under twenty thousand meters. So yeah, we, we will land this time. But I think I will actually do this because it takes a lot of speed out of it. So to do this fastly. As I don't see see uh, sometimes if you time warp, uh, strange things happens. But I we have a small part is just our pod here. So, I'm not worried about time warping. Let's go at two speed, because that is feel safe. Yeah, if safe, so I'm not sure <laughs> if it. Yeah, we are going at the steeper angle, and then the last time, but I think this should be enough. It should it depends on where you land. If I land on the mountains again, that means that you can lose a lot of... Uh, you don't have as much time to slow down as you have uh, if you just, uh, just go with a normal sea level or something. But it looks very good. We don't have to worry. Yeah, I wasn't worried at all, actually. I'm more worried about my time warp. So we are 20,000 meters and we are already uh, ha around 1,000 meters. So yeah, it will become thicker here. We can see at the atmosphere uh, meter here that this become thicker. So what I want to do, and I should probably do done before I send that. So, So that will slow us down. I should probably set that to 5,000 a lot earlier. So yeah. And we are soon at 250 meters, means it will be safe uh, for uh, our main parachute to open. So it shouldn't be, yeah, this will be safe landing. But we are, I'm not sure what's down there. So we never know. So I will actually wait a bit to use my main parachutes because Otherwise, you have to wait so long for uh, this here. So let's, I will put, uh, activate it at 6,000. So I'm impatient. Okay, now, now I got to worry again. So let's activate that. No, <laughs> I just dragged that slider. So yeah, I'm not sure what's under us. We can see what's under us. So we are about to land now. It doesn't look scary here. I probably cut out a lot of parts here because, yeah, <laughs> you can't see anything more than our part than our parachute, so that is not so interesting to look at. Yeah, we are still 100, 100 meter left, I like to see here. So we should uh, hit about um, 3 seconds or something. Oh, we are at the sea. That explains it why it is so uh, dark here. So let's see if I still have that. Oh, I figured it out. I have to be landed on Kerbin's water. I'm not sure how to do that. So <laughs> let's recover our vessel. So we got 809 science. That is so much science. So that's awesome. Uh, we got 2 XP on everyone, it was a shame that I forgot about the flag. So yeah, that would probably uh, uh, give us even more experience. So yeah, let's, uh, let's be done with this. Now let's see what kind of uh, research, a word for research in 1500 or more. Uh, I've awarded to go, uh, completing any exceptional uh, Contract, so that is a word of splash down. A word of uh, 40, I think that's 40 uh, minutes or uh, or um, curbing minutes in uh, EVA. A word for taking footsteps on my minimums. I really like this, it would be more fun to look like later when we have our curbings have done a lot more. So let's see if I can decide how to spend our science. 
Let's first go to mission control. So available. Start exploring Duna. I think that will be soon, but before I go to Duna, I will want to uh, do docking and stuff. Uh, I want to learn how to dock it and then we'll go to Duna. But we can uh, get the uh, we can get to a contract so it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, disappear. Exploration, explore, curbing. Uh, I, I yeah I, I took this contract and this is a docking contract. We need to orbit around curbing and we will have to dock and uh, to finish that uh, that contract and then later I want to put satellites around. I think docking in the next episode and then we will get uh, satellites here, exploration. So let's see, field research. Yeah, I understand why it's rare science now because you have to be landed on the Kermis water. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that. Flag planting, yeah we have uh, I'm hoping that we will get a flag contract on Minimus, then we can take my uh, viewers, Charlene, she, won, she said that it would be cool to go to one moon and then go somewhere else and then go home. Uh, it would be cool to do both moons and that will be a very cool, uh, uh, cool contract to do, so a uh, challenge too, because it would be hard to build, build it there. So I'm just uh, flipping through here, I don't see... So what does this stories want to do? I'm not sure what he wants to do actually, <laughs> so let's, let's not think about that. I think that talking in the next episode, and I think I will save my science points for now until I, I, I get some... I, I need more requirements, but we have a thousand and these cost 160. Now, so if I collect, uh, I, I will unlock it after my need to have those parts. So that's what's going to happen with the science. So yeah, that was a good ending for this episode. And uh, it went well, well there. <laughs> so yeah, it was a fun episode for me to make too. So uh, that was everything, my dear friends. So let's call it the episode and as always thank you for watching